Hi, good day again. Uh, this will be our third lesson for first order ordinary differential equations. Uh, we have discussed some basic concepts. We reviewed on ODEs that are separable. We solved some examples. Uh, by separating variables. In this particular uh, presentation, we'll be discussing exact ODEs and uh, solving examples about exact ODEs and uh, integ its integrating factors. So, we recall from calculus that if a function u of variables x and y has continuous partial derivatives, its differential, or also called its total differential, is expressed by this equation. du is equal to the partial derivative of du of u with respect to x times dx plus the partial derivative of u with respect to y dy. From this, it follows that the, if this particular function of u uh, is equal to a constant, then its uh, differential du is equal to 0. So that's the concept. Uh, for example, let's try to, to illustrate this concept by this example. If a function u is equal to x plus x squared y cubed is equal to a particular constant, then we can see that du is equal to the partial derivative of u with respect to x times dx plus partial derivative of u with respect to y times dy. Then du is equal to what is the partial derivative of u with respect to x? We will get the derivative of this particular equation uh, taking y as a constant. Therefore, derivative of x with respect to x is, is uh, equal to 1. The derivative of x squared y cubed is equal to 2x y cubed. Okay? So that will be multiplied by dx plus the partial derivative of u with respect to y. So it means that we are taking x as a constant. So in this case, uh, the u partial derivative of u with respect to y, this will be 0 plus x squared times 3y squared. To simplify, that will be 3x squared y squared. So multiplied by dy, and uh, this expression will be equated to 0. Therefore, our du or y prime dy dx is equal to negative this expression 1 plus 2xy cubed over this expression 3x squared y squared. This example... Uh, illustrated is an ODE that can be solved by going uh, backward. So, how? A first order ODE written as this uh, form in this form, so a function of m written in as a function of x and y multiplied by dx plus function n uh, in terms of x and y multiplied by dy is equal to 0. So if a first function ODE written in that particular form, we call this an exact differential. If, if the differential form of this equation is exact, so that is in the form explained earlier. So we will get du is equal to the uh, partial derivative of u with respect to x 
dx plus the partial derivative of u with respect to y dy of some function u. It can be written as du is equal to 0. So by integration, we can obtain the general solution. All right. So by comparing two equations, first, we'll have to find the partial derivative of u with respect to x that should be equal to the m and the partial derivative of u with respect to y should be equal to m. So to check whether a particular ODE in this form is exact, we'll have to do this uh, checking. So we'll take the partial derivative of m with respect to the other variable y. So m, partial derivative of m with respect to y. And the, it should be equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x. So take note of that. So by, by integration, we can now obtain the general solution. U, since uh, we have constant here, du is equal to 0, our u is, uh, can be obtained by integration. It should be equal to the uh, integral of m dx plus a certain function. Or it can be also solved using the n by integrating uh, n, function of n, dy plus a particular function with respect to or a function of x. So let's take an example. So let's try to solve uh, for, the, for the solution of this uh, ordinary differential equation. So we are given with cosine of x plus y dx plus 3y squared plus 2y plus cosine of x plus y times dy is equal to 0. Okay. So first, uh, we saw that the given ODE is expressed by this particular or written in this particular form. So, we can now test if this ODE is an exact ODE. So again, uh, as, an, as, an, as a step, let's check for the exactness of this ODE. So let's use this uh, formula. So let's take the partial derivative of M. So that is cosine x plus y with respect to y. Okay. So partial derivative of cosine that will be negative sine of x plus y while the partial derivative of n and this long equation or expression with respect to x so that will be uh, 3y squared will be 0 2y will be 0 we are left with cosine x plus y. So the derivative or partial derivative of this expression will be negative sine of x plus y. Now, we now know that this equation is an exact ODE. So we can now proceed to solving the implicit general solution. So we have to choose uh, between m or n would be convenient for us to solve. Okay. In this case, uh, I will be solving for the general solution uh, on the route of m because it has lesser variables to solve. Uh, compared to the y or the n. Okay? So our general solution will be 
the function u is equal to the integral m dx plus a certain function of y. Okay, so what is m? We have the integral of cosine x plus y, that is our m, dx plus k of y. So we now know that the integral of cosine x plus y dx is sine x plus y plus a certain function of y. We want to know uh, this function. So we will have to solve for this. To get this function k of y, we need to know uh, that the partial derivative of u with respect to y should be equal to n. Okay? Because we need to have a function expressed in y, we will use this partial derivative of u with respect to y. If we are solving the other way or getting the equation with respect to x, we will use the partial derivative of u with respect to x. Okay. So in this case, uh, our variable is uh, y. It should be equal to uh, the function n in this equation. So 3y squared plus 2y plus cosine x plus y. So scratch the right side. We have the partial derivative of u with respect to y is equal to cosine x plus y, right? So, plus uh, derivative of k with respect to y. So, that is the partial derivative of u with respect to y. It should be equal to 3y squared plus 2y plus cosine x, x plus y. Now, simplifying this uh, equation we now have uh, subtracted the, the trigonometric variables cosine x plus y and we are left with uh, 3y squared plus 2y on this uh, equation so to eliminate the derivative and to get the function k of y, we are now going to integrate okay, this equation. So by integration, we now have k as a function of y equal to integral of 3y squared, that will be y cubed, the integral of 2y, that will be y squared, plus a particular constant. Okay. Since we already have this value of k of y, we are now ready to substitute this to our uh, solution, right? So, in that case, we will now have u is equal to sine x plus y plus this uh, value, y cubed plus y squared plus c prime. So, I already uh, placed the value of c at the right side of the equation to, to further simplify. Okay. So, next step is to check the implicit solution. Okay. Reduction to exact forms. So, some first order ODEs may not be exact. Of course, not all ODEs expressed in the uh, form discussed in the sl earlier slide are all exact. However, we can still solve for these equations if we multiply it by a particular expression called the integrating factor f so that the result is an equation that is exact. Okay, so let us uh, illustrate this, uh, this 
reduction. So first, we are given with a ordinary differential equation uh, that is not exact. Okay? So we have a function t, p of x and y, dx, plus q of x and y, dy is equal to 0. And then we are going to determine an integrating factor that is go, uh, that we are going to introduce into this uh, ODE so that it can be exact. The formula in getting this integrating factor is equal to E to the integral of 1 over Q times the partial derivative of p with respect to y minus the partial derivative of q with respect to x, dx. So this integrating factor uh, is solved according to the variable x. So if, if we want to use the variable y in your solution, this will be the formula. The integrating factor is equal to e to the integral of 1 over p times partial derivative of q with respect to x minus the partial derivative of p with respect to y times dy. So the resulting equation, once we are able to multiply the integrating factor to the original ODE, is an exact. ODE, which we can now solve using the approach we have discussed earlier, right? So let's uh, try to solve an example for this, okay? Example, solve the ODE e to the x plus y plus y e to the y dx plus x e to the y minus 1 dy is equal to 0 given an initial condition or initial value y of 0 is equal to negative 1. So in this particular uh, example, we are required to find for a particular solution, right? Because we are given with a initial value. So step number 1 Let's try to test for exactness. Let's try to incorporate this test for exactness even though we already know whether or not the ODE is exact. Okay, so let's, let's test. So for reference, uh, I am showing the form that we wish to attain. So the partial derivative of p, p with respect to y, yields e to the x plus y plus e to the y plus y e to the y. But partial derivative of q with respect to x is equal to the partial is equal to e to the y. Okay, so therefore, and this equation this ODE is not exact. So our next step is to get an integrating factor. Okay. So the formula that uh, we will use is uh, we'll try to solve in terms of y. Okay. So our integrating factor will be e to the integral of p times uh, partial derivative of q with respect to x minus the partial derivative of p with respect to y. Okay, so recall that we already solved these partial derivatives, right? So we will use this in getting our integrating factor. So, our integrating factor will be e to the integral of negative negative dy okay so i have solved 
it uh, in this portion that yields to negative 1. So therefore, our integrating factor will be e to the negative y. So introducing this e to the negative y to the original ODE will result to this equation. Okay? e to the x plus y dx plus x minus e to the negative y dy is equal to 0. You may now proceed to the steps uh, we have discussed earlier in solving exact ODEs. So, step 3 is to solve uh, as exact ODEs. So, the step is to, of course, check for exactness and then uh, solve for u. Okay? u is equal to the integral of m plus uh, a certain function, right? And then you will get the differential, uh, the derivative of this function uh, and then solve for the initial value. So, the result will be a function u or u as a function of x and y is equal to e to the x plus x y plus e to the minus y is equal to c. So, uh, in this lesson, we discussed the concept of solving an ODE that is exact. So, we have discussed the steps on how to solve exact ODEs. Uh, there are some ODEs that are not exact. So we introduce an integrating factor so that the result will be an exact ODE. And then we solve an example uh, wherein the given is not an exact ODE. And uh, we solve for an, for an integrating factor that we can apply uh, to this ODEs. Okay? So in the next uh, in the next lesson we'll solve for the linear or homogeneous ODEs. Okay, so that's it. Thank you very much.